hello. Now today what I'm going to show you is a good way of digging up your carrots. It's now the middle of July to getting to two thirds of the way through. So some of your carrots can start to come up now. When you dig some up, you'll then thin them out so that the ones that are left in the ground, which are still too small, have then got room to grow. Now because we've planted ours, I'm hoping that this will work, because we've planted uh, the carrots with the onions, we shouldn't have any carrot fly on them, but we'll dig them up and have a look, so fingers crossed. Now, what you need to do is you need to choose a carrot and it needs to be relatively big. If it's still quite small, it's obviously not ready yet. So choose one that's quite big and then just run your finger round the top of it. And if you can feel or see that it's quite big, a decent size, then it's ready to dig up. We've got one, a very small one next to this one. So we're gonna have to be very, very careful when we dig that one up. If we do dislodge it, then we'll just put, put it back in again. So we need to get our big fork. Now don't put it too close. You need to put it about three inches away, but mind the onions, because they're around here. So we'll just give it a good push down and then we'll pull it back with one hand and we'll ease the carrot out with the other hand. So very gently. There we are. Oh, wow. There we are. Nice long carrot, a good nine inches long that one. Bit wonky there, but it makes them taste nicer. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh look, that one's just dislodged a little bit, that tiny one. Oh, there's two small ones there, so we'll just put them back in, just cover them up with the soil again, and then they'll grow beautifully. So let's, oh look, there's one there. Can you see that one there? That's nice and big. If they're a bit green on top, on top of the carrot, don't worry. It's not like the tomato, uh, not like the potatoes. They're not poisonous. So we'll put the fork in, give it a good push down. Might need to give it a bit of a wiggle. <clears throat> Pull it back with one hand and pull the carrot very carefully out with the other one. Ah, oh, look, another perfect carrot. And if we look round the top, there are no little holes, there are no signs that the carrot fly, that the onion fly have been there. So the, the onions have done their work. So I'm just gonna dig up a few more. I've got purple ones in here somewhere. I'll try and find one of those. Well, there are purple ones in there somewhere. I couldn't find them anywhere, but I found a very nice yellow one there. Now there's a little mark down here, little indentation. That's just where it's hit a root. And this one I'm very proud of. There we are, we've got a two-legged one there. It obviously hit a stone and has forked both ways, but they taste just as nice. And you don't see those ones in the shops. Now, what you need to do with your carrots is start digging up the ones that you need. Uh, now every week or so uh, from now through to the end just come down and just feel around and just dig up the ones that you need at that time and that way you can keep them nice and fresh and if you dig a few up at a time the ones that are still in the ground they'll grow bigger and uh, and they'll just last a little bit longer you want to pick them when they are about this sort of size about six to nine inches long because they're sweeter then if they get too big sometimes the ones you get in the shop are really really big and they just lose their flavor but these are just so fresh and so sweet and I'm gonna just have to have a bite I'll have a bite of the one I lost the end of one it's in there somewhere and I'll just clean it up a bit and I'll just have a bite because they just taste so nice Ooh. you don't even need to peel these you just wash them or wipe them and just cut them up and just eat them and they are just they're so sweet and they're so delicious and they're wonderful so I hope you enjoy your carrots now next time I come back to you we'll be talking about if like me uh, you've now got the summer holidays the school summer holidays coming up so how to deal with looking after an allotment and the summer holidays so I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.